Well, good morning, my Sagittarians. Happy Monday, happy fire sign day, happy you. Hi, I don't know why I'm so, I, I'm so happy to see you guys. I am, I'm just so happy to see my Sagittarians. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week on this beautiful overcast Monday morning here in Northern Indiana. I actually love overcast days. That's what I actually get out the most. So um, yes, I love you guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. I hope you had a good weekend. I am using Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. This is Tarot de Saint Croix for the clarifying deck. The links to these decks can be found down below in the description box along with uh, links to other decks I use quite often along with the schedule and information and how to reach me if you need to find me, things like that for you, for everybody. Um, I am doing a live read, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time on Fridays, new energy check-in. And because it's we're starting Virgo season here really soon, it will start with the Virgos on Friday and work our way through to Leos. Um, yeah, just that much closer to get to your reading now, huh? We're bumping it up here. And so, yeah, and then Sundays, of course, are the bonus reads. And I'm sure you're very familiar with them, Sag, since you're usually in the bonus read. That starts at 11 a.m. The top viewed highest sign gets started first. And I only do the top three for the week because it's my thank you to you for, for being supporting the channel, for the likes and the subscribes and the views. I appreciate it more than you can even know. And for all my new viewers, if you're feeling the vibe, please feel free to like and subscribe. Do you see this Lover's Reverse and Ace of Pentacles? I don't feel like if this, if I only had two cards, this is new, this is old, new, old, new, old. I don't know how you feel about that though. I, I say that because I don't know if some, some of you are ready for it. Um, lo, lovers reverse. What is that? Yeah. Eight of swords reverse. I feel like queen of swords and king of swords, two of cups reverse. Some of you had to leave something or something left your life and that maybe not crazy about it. Um, but it's time, king and queen, true pair right here. You know, it's two females. And I don't know why I'm getting this, but some of you, whatever left your life in the soulmate connection, it probably wasn't in your life very long. King and queen of swords. I, I yeah, well, you know, I guess it could be um, a married couple, but sometimes I think of them as brother and sister. It's weird that, that 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 thought came to me because in this soul connection that whatever put you on to whatever this Ace of Pentacles is coming into your life, I feel like you've had a lot of lives with them and maybe they were like a sibling. Maybe, you know, that's why they felt so comfortable and so familiar. But it was to open you up to whatever this is. This is where you need to be. That just got you over there. It's like a taxi that took you from here and it wasn't, you thought it was gonna take you to happiness land and it just took you to the, a train to take you there quicker. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. So you're free from this. I don't think it's in your life right now. And some of you, look at the bird. It's a bird literally in the, in the lovers and a human in a cage, look at that. But you freed yourself, you're free. This You getting free from this is such a blessing. What's below the Ace of Pentacles? The hangman after being stuck and the justice. I actually feel like this relationship that left your life came in to unstick, stuck you, unstick you from a previous situation. Either it was nothing or it was a long-term engagement. Maybe I didn't mean like engage as in married, but I don't know. It's weird that that word came to me. All right. Let's see what's going on for the Sagittarian. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sag. If you are Sag. Know a Sag, feel like being a Sag. Well, Sages, I'm so glad you're here. You can be a Sag and this resonates. You could be like a Gemini. You could be an Aquarius. You could be a Leo watching. Dealing with a Sagittarius and you'll feel like the main story and Sag would be the cross watcher. I know a lot of people look for love, but this might be a money. This might be a self growth. This might be, just stay open to the messages is what I'm trying to say. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the collective messages? What are the collective messages for the Sagittarians? What are, I just saw birds just flying in a V. I feel like you're free. I think you guys are a lot more out of that than you realize, that, that stuck or unhappiness. All right, what are the collective messages for the Sagittarians? What are the collective messages for the Sagittarians? They can't keep you back anymore. What is that? King of Wands reverse, but you don't see it. You are a knight of wands striving to be that king. Some of you don't see your own power. 
King of Wands reverse, Leo energy, is a lack of self-belief in one's desire, di desirability, a lack of self-belief in accomplishing the goals you set forth in your life. And this is something, because I don't feel like it's all areas of your life for some of you. I think one area could be work you're doing well and love you may not be, or vice versa. But what I'm trying to say is there's certain areas in your life you could set goals and create and, and smash them, set goals and smash them. You might be really good at helping other people with their problems, but when it comes to you, you give yourself, it's like you believe the worst in yourself. That it, It's a lack of self-belief as a King of Wands reverse. Leo energy, what's influencing the King of Wands reverse? What's influencing the King of Wands reverse here? What's influencing the King of Wands reverse? What's influencing the King of Wands reverse? The, yeah, Five of Swords. There's the Two of Cups and the King of Pentacles and the Strength card. I actually feel this is coming in. The bottom of the deck is usually the energy coming. You have a Two of Cups, a King of Pentacles, and the strength card leo energy taurus energy and then cancerian energy this this really really feels like coming in i felt this something new coming in eight of cups so you just have to walk away from this person i think this person took your self-confidence i think five of swords they come in to feed themselves and they leave when you're hungry you have nothing left to feed yourself back here you're back here and this person they they might lie a lot i mean i mean look at her she's vibrant and he's completely depleted and i have a feeling when this person came in their life it was the exact reverse and you could sit there and say hey why did you why did you take a piece out of me and she's like i didn't do it and he's like yeah you did and she's like no i didn't prove it and he's like what's that in your hand it's my arm it's like you could catch this person and they still don't come clean I don't know where I, sorry, it's like a puppet show over here. But this King of Wands reverse is somebody who comes into your life because they themselves were not doing that great. And they're not doing that great because they, they don't own up who they are. And I hate to put this much in the past, but I feel like, and then you were over here in a King of Pentacles. That's why I'm feeling some of you job-wise were doing okay. And then it was this relationship that kind of like took it out of you. So it's kind of unhooking our talents from this energy because I feel like this energy transferred their insecurities into you. They projected what is going on in their life onto you and you took it out as your own. Now this could be a family member, a sibling, a friend, a coworker. It doesn't have to always be a lover, but this person projected their insecurities onto you and said, no, it's not me. I didn't do that. You're the one doing it. And you're thinking, did I? I didn't think I did. King of Wands reverse. Somebody took the belief system out of you and it's time to get that back. What's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, Sagittarians? What's the reason for the reading? Ooh, okay, Sag, Sag. I, I, I feel like it's really this because did you see all those cards? Actually, I'm gonna take it too. That's what showed it to me, the star and the Knight of Swords. You have a new opportunity coming in fast. This is within messaging too. Knight of Swords is fast. Are you ready for it is the question. After being like this, Queen, a Wands reverse and a Chariot reverse. It's funny because here it is again. We have the fire, we have the Cancerian and the Queen is reverse. And some of you, it's because this King of Wands reverse, you were like this before you met him. They made you like this. They gave you insecurities to keep you there. They flaunted people in your face while they're trying to take maybe money or your energy from you okay so okay i'm just going to show you what fell out emperor reverse and five of wands yeah a fire sign queen of wands reverse possibly coming into your life to play games to manipulate to try to win to get something some of you are in this right now this could be a, a, a dark depression this could feel lack of hope i don't know if i'll ever get through this oh and then look lovers comes in and it has you here, two of swords. I don't know what to do. I don't want to look at it. I don't know if I'm ready. Page of Pentacles reverse. Don't turn this away, okay? Don't let this, this bastard or be win again. Bastard female or male. Don't let them win. Get yourself out there. Get your hot self back out there. What's in the past? What's in the past, Sag? What's in the past? Yep, there. King of Swords reverse. It's just somebody's heart space is really off shut down 
it's like they can't and the lack of self reflection is it's amazing see a king of swords is ultimate clarity it's somebody you would go to to help you solve a problem it's the cpa of the deck i always called the mr spreadsheets and that's how they should be you know and they has a bird a bird eye view very clear very focused energy and it, this it was reverse a uh, not very focused energy somebody who can't look at themselves somebody who refuses to change could this person change of course everyone can change right but it's very hard to change when you don't think you're the problem you know and that's this is why it becomes this Aquarian energy, the King of Swords reverse, can become the narcissist card or the asshole card or the mental issue card. There's all kinds of reasons because this person doesn't do the self-reflection. Why am I spending so much time on this? I am because we have a King of Wands reverse and I don't think this is this person. I think this person projected their insecurities onto you and you, it, it kept, and now you're over here, not sure how to rise above this, how to feel connected or feel happy again some of you it's just swallowing you up and they're probably already doing this to somebody else they're onto somebody else doing this that's on them that's their karma i just don't want you to miss the ace of pentacles that's coming into your life what is on your mind sag what is on the sagittarian's mind what is on the sagittarian's mind what is on the sagittarian's mind so i i think the person's long gone I think the magic of them is long gone. I think you see them clearly. But the insecurity that left within you is what's got to flip here. What is on the Sagittarian's mind? Yeah, this is shocking. You ready for this? You ready? It's the King of Wands female. You have the King of Wands reverse and you have the King of Wands female. Now this could be, because it's both Leo, both, both fire. This is about getting your magic back on your mind. You want to feel loved. You want that desire. You want to you want to love, right? But you have to put yourself out there. This King of Wands reverses your masculine energy. And I don't care if you're a man or a woman watching this. I don't care if you identify with neither. Everybody has masculine energies and feminine energy. Somebody's masculine energy took a hit because of narcissistic asshole came into your life and took and shopped off your shelves like it was free day over here. And now they're on and there's somebody else's problem it's time to let this person go and some of you this could could have been with them and maybe they highlighted a series of people in your life that you have allowed to do this to you but this is about getting you back because when this comes into your life a, a, a new energy and they say man sag i've never felt like this before you don't want to put your head down and be or turn around and be like who are you talking about you want to say damn right you're lucky to find me. That's the energy. I mean, you don't want to say that because you're going to sound arrogant, but you know, that's the energy you want to exude to be kind of smiling. Like, I know you're lucky. You lucky bastard. You found me. This is, this feels magical. See her wand. It's, this is finding the fire. Finding the fire within you is also leads to the magic. And I feel like this is where a huge change in your life happens because this is love. This is opportunity, this is abundance, this is travel, this is laughing, living in the moment, not waking up thinking of this. It's waking up and thinking about, oh, I can't wait to start the day. I, I can't wait to start the day because I, 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 who knows where it's gonna go. And some people in this might not wanna go to bed because they don't wanna think about it or they don't wanna wake up, you know? It's, it's, that has to change. So, okay, what's in the near future for the Sagittarians? What's in the near future for the Sagittarians? Eight of Pentacles came out sideways. That's Sag like, I'll think about it. Okay, Stacy, just shut up now, but I'll think about it. I'll think about letting this go. All right, now what's in the near future? Virgo energy, Virgo, I, I'm, I keep saying it, Virgo's gonna be so transformational for the fire signs. I'm getting fire signs the most. Honestly, not earth signs. I think Virgo, and I'm a Virgo too. It's kind of like the feeling I get for the earth signs is have you ever got, do you ever get more excited about planning a vacation than being on the vacation? It's the anticipation of it. It's exciting. But once you're in it, you're like, huh, well, there's so much to do so I can enjoy this. And every day they're trying to make sure they can enjoy it, but they're not enjoying it. That's what that feels like for earth signs. They're like so busy trying to prepare for it that they're going to miss the entire thing. I, that's what I'm getting fire signs. I think it's going to be very transformational. Maybe because your season, like especially like Leo season, just ended and it's a time to recoup and reevaluate before your birthday season. Okay, what is the near future for the Sagittarians? 
What is in the near future for the Sagittarians? What is in the near future? That's right, two of swords reverse, choosing to see this opportunity and get out of town. Look at this, we got the death card, letting it go. Remember I said, well, think about this transformation, butterflies, cocoon, all of that is on this eight of pentacles. You're down, but you're not forgotten here, Sag. And ace of cups and the moon. Right now you're in the moon, but you're going towards the sun. I think you guys are a lot further along than you realize. New love is like knocking on your door, but you have to you have to be willing to to hear it, you know? I feel like you're in this in the moon right now. Two of swords in the moon, but I love two of swords reverse is time to to um open your eyes to this. Let's see what this is about. We got the ace of cups. That's so good. Okay, what is this about? King of Wands reverse and the Five of Swords re upright. King of Wands reverse and the Five of Swords upright for the Sagittarians. King of Wands reverse Leo energy, Five of Swords upright, Aquarian energy. King on King going on over here. King of Wands reverse and the Five of Swords. King of Wands reverse and the Five of Swords. King of Wands reverse and the Five of Swords. And the five of swords are reversed. That's right. You know how you can get over this? Perspective. It's it's not taking on the bullshit of others anymore. Five of swords reverse is refusing to whatever this person did to you, it's already been done. But by letting it stay in your head, because swords are energy but that's going on within your mental capacity, it's no longer giving it any kind of energy, no longer thinking about it, making the choice to do something different. Now, I'm not saying that's easy. It's just like quitting smoking, quitting crack, quitting alcohol. You, first you make the choice, but then number two, you have to create the habit. And the habit is where it gets very difficult. And that's where you're gonna have to really want this because to create a new habit, you're gonna have to really think about, you're gonna have to be very conscious conscience, conscious of your steps moving forward. And what I mean by that is around your mental space. Every time you find yourself thinking about who did what to you, change it, change it. Five seconds, you'll change your brain. Your brain can't think of two things at once. I mean, it really can't. That's why you get sidetracked and derailed. So if you start thinking of what this person did to you, be conscious of it and change paths. Say, nope, snap your fingers, do something create an energy, you know, like, um, a lot of motivational speakers will talk about this, but it's really, if you, you learn this in psychology and in, in university or whatever, or you could read it online that if you, cr if you can scream, you make a noise, do something that works for you, because once you do it, your brain has to stop thinking of it. You change direction right there. Like I want to say, what does Tony Robbins do? He, I think he screams, it's, does he scream from the top of his lungs or something? I don't know, different people do different things. What I'm trying to say is when, when you feel like you're getting pulled into the abyss from this old energy, catch yourself. Don't allow it any further, don't feed it. That's now on to you. So it's about now saying, nope, I'm gonna go out of the house. No, I'm gonna go call somebody. I'm gonna go do this. I gotta start doing it pretty soon that the habit's going to be feel natural to you because you want to get yourself ready to be able to see whatever this love is. And I feel like it's, it's coming in fast and I think it's coming in soon. And I feel, I don't want you missing it because of what this asshole did. What is this Knight of Swords and the Star? Reason for the reading. Knight of Swords and the Star. Knight of Swords and the Star. What is that? Knight of Swords and the Star. Four Swords. Healing. Star is healing. I actually feel this, the, the opportunity coming in, I feel like it will heal so much in you. Wish fulfillment is star. The, four, but the opportunity coming in is the Knight of Swords. Four Swords though, I just feel like some of you suffer from anxiety from this or from many people, but Four Swords is a card of peace. It's a card of pulling yourself together. Maybe it's also a getting away. When I see this card, I always think of pulling yourself, away, not just away from this energy, but maybe if you can take yourself on a trip, take yourself away from the thing that's stressing you out because it's very hard to tackle a problem when you're in the midst of that problem. Here's your card, look at this. The Magician, yeah, I knew you are magical. Right now you're in a 10 of wands, but a five of pentacles reverse. I feel like you're on your way, but you're not quite there yet. You know what, why? It's because you have to see your own magic. I said that, I feel the magician here. 
with that wand. And I'm, so I'm not surprised to see it. You are a major manifester, but it works against you when you're manifesting negative shit or you're not ne negative what people have said to you and it's keeping you back or getting fired from that job might keep you from starting a business that could make you millions. You know what I mean? It's the negative things in life that have your focus and because it has your focus, you're manifesting it. You have to be very careful when you see this card. That means you have the ability. I mean, everybody has the ability but some people I think can really tap in into pulling the things that they focus on the most. If you're focused on sadness and despair, you're gonna get a lot of it. If you put your focus onto this, you're gonna get a lot of it. It's up to you what you're focused on is what you're gonna bring in. Do you want the Five of Pentacles reverse or do you wanna stay in the Ten of Wands? That's your energy. Five of Pentacles reverse is getting you back. The Stella got her groove back card. Not letting anybody ever make you feel rejected in your life again, or rejected period. Because if they start feeling like that, it's, this is where you're going to have to, you know, this is where that emperor energy or, you know, it's really standing up for yourself time. Okay. What's this King of Swords reverse in the past for Sagittarians? King of Swords reverse in the past, the Aquarian energy, King of Swords reverse in the past. The Four of Cups reverse, waiting for this person to do the right thing, waiting for this an apology, waiting for this person to contact you, waiting for them to be who you need them to be. Newsflash, it's not happening because this person doesn't think they have a problem. You can wait till the cows come home. This person does not think they have the problem. Everybody has the problem but them. Four of Cups reverse is no longer waiting. It's getting away from this. And some of you feel like you've lost out on an opportunity. If, that, if this person didn't want you, it wasn't an opportunity, it would have been a burden. Okay, what's this King of Wands on your mind? What's the King of Wands on Leo Energy on Sag's mind? King of Wands, leveling up. You're the Knight of Wands, heading to the Queen and then to the King. The Queen is getting you back, getting your confidence back. The King is just, here I am, bitches, here I am. Take me or leave me, I gotta, I gotta do this. What's this King of Wands on your mind? It is the Three of Pentacles reverse, Capricorn energy. Why the Three of Pentacles reverse? It's definitely letting go. Three of Pentacles reverse is letting go of who, who didn't help you build something. Yeah, the Emperor taking control. That card, I knew it. I knew it was coming out. And I'm getting a lot of Queen of Wands energy as well. A lot of Aries and fire going on here. You are leaving your Knight of Wands self behind and you are heading into the queen and you're going to end up at the king and i feel like this with the knight of swords it happens fast so i think this is a good time to nurture yourself in this four of swords take yourself away go visit family get yourself out of the energy that puts you in it if it puts you in it it's you're not going to find your solutions where the problems are you're just not and so i feel like there's the queen of wands again i'm telling this is the energy this is you sag this is you this is where you're headed not and I feel like the past is not in your life it may stop in here and there to, to see what they can get from you you know to see see this is this this is the thing with this energy there's nothing left of you they already picked your bones I'm, I'm so gruesome I know they picked your bones they, there's nothing left of this guy this person took everything they possibly can but you better bet your ass as soon as you start getting all red look at this once this happens, and this is going to happen here, I would say in the next couple months, you start getting you back, this person's going to start going gray and they're going to come over here and start to try to take from you. They're going to try to beat you down and flaunt somebody in your face or brag about something to make you feel bad about where you are right now. And I, they're a liar. Five of Swords is a liar. If they're flaunting people in your face, it's probably somebody they, they took online, you know, like pictures. They're, they're, this is a person that is highly manipulative to make you feel like shit so you would start beating them again. Don't fall for it, okay? Emperor sees it. Emperor, oh yeah, there you go, the Queen of Swords. This is what you, you gotta get angry. You have to get angry for you now. You know, the Queen of Swords is putting boundaries up. The Four of Wands is, this is about finding where you, your, your security and your home and where you find your comfort zone is changing. And so the four of wands is it's, it's I'm not allowing some a disrespect in my home and your home is within your body, within your soul. Don't allow someone to disrespect you. Knight of swords reverse, getting clear and cutting the bullshit out, 
Oops, King of Pentacles. You are leveling up, and I think some of you, and this went into your reading yesterday, I think you, you probably even feel that, this change. And it's this last ditch effort to hold on to something one last time. It's like the grand finale in fireworks, you know? It's pretty, 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 and it's like, boom! That's how this emotion is. You think you're getting over them, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Why am I thinking this? I thought I was healed. It's because it's finally leaving your life. I think it's, it's one last explosion going on here. What's this Two of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles sideways in the near future? Two of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles sideways. Two of Swords, Libra and Energy, which is Queen of Swords. Eight of Pentacles is Virgo. It's here if you like it or not. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo seasons happen in a couple days, and this is where the groundwork for the new beginnings are being laid. Six of Cups reverse, yeah. It's, it's a soulmate is leaving your life, and a new one's coming in. Are you ready for it? Yeah, Knight of Swords, twice quick knight of swords six of cups reverse and the three of cups reverse letting the past stay in the past letting you the version of you that allowed this in needs to stay in the past as well you can't take it with you because that means you're going to take the pain and the guilt with you you take you have guilt letting this in you have guilt being harsh it's it, it, it's it's those days are over the Three of Cups reverse and a Three of Pentacles reverse equals a negative six. It's a negative six in Pentacles because I feel like you are breadcrumbs and you probably lost money and energy with this person. And it's a Six of Cups because it's leaving your life. This was to get you ready for something new and something amazing. Look at this Ten of Swords and a Five of Cups leaving this hurt and Three of Swords behind, ascending from this. They're a huge ascension process, really. Uh, Ten of Swords is accepting that this happened and it's gone. And I like that this Five of Cups, she's not focused on the past at all. She's just walking the path. But she needs to realize that there is love right near her. She's just got to, you know, be aware of it. Here's the Fool and the Eight of Swords reverse. And that is where I feel you're headed very, very soon. And this is great. The Fool is great. It's, he's courageous. He's courageous because... He just doesn't care. He, he has to just do it. If he, gets, if he falls, he falls. If people laugh at him, they laugh at him. But he has to, it's, it's a very adventurous kind of card. It's, it's jumping in into this energy without thinking, but it's sure in the hell better being where you've been. And Eight of Swords Reverse is releasing yourself from this mental torture that's been going on. The fool can't take the past with him. He doesn't have room in that tiny little bag. It's just fun. I think the time for fun needs to come back into a Sagittarian's life. I think you need to have love again and passion and travel. I keep saying travel. And yeah, this has to end because this person's done. I think they're done with you for now. They'll probably be back when you've got your power. But when you have this King of Wands, you're also going to have your Queen of Swords. And this person's finally going to have it coming to them. So, all right, Sagittarians, that's what I have for you. I hope you cutie pies have a great rest of your week. I'll see you guys on Friday if you want to join me for the live read, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, energy check-in. All right, guys, have a great rest of your week. Take care.